vary during the swing and the conversation can get quite complicated. Let's simplify it and I'm going to show you three standard ball positions and if you hang around to the end I'll show you a fourth for putting. Hi I'm Peter Knight and I've created this channel to help you play the best golf you can. Today we're going to look at standard ball position. Now ball positions can move a little bit when you're playing specialty shots but if we consider three standards and work with them probably 95% of the time. So with driver and the other thing that I sort of should stress with this and this might sort of sound like I'm contradicting myself a little bit I don't mean to is that while I'm going to talk about a particular ball position if we consider a range a small range so for example when I set myself up with a driver my ball position is typically somewhere between my big toe and maybe even just inside my heel here my left heel so it's a it's a small variation but that can change a little bit from player to player now the reason the ball position is forward is that when I'm playing my driver my body's center is behind the ball and that can the combination of my body center being behind the ball and the ball position being forward allows me to catch the ball either with a level or, or slightly ascending blow. So ball position is going to be really helpful for that. So driver ball position, big toe to inside left heel. If I consider my iron position, and this is the one that sort of creates quite a bit of debate. In the past, when I say in the past, I'm talking you know, anywhere from 40 years and beyond. So it's a long time ago, but this, this idea of every single club, your ball position changes, that idea sort of still persists quite a bit. Uh, it was changed initially, largely by the influence of Jack Nicklaus. Certainly in my experience, that's where I first saw this idea that we keep pretty much one ball position for most of the iron shots. Uh, I adopted that, it was a long time ago. I still work with it. So that ball position is where if I set myself up, so I've got here a seven iron, but it's going to be representative of virtually all my iron shots. And so the ball position for my seven iron is a little bit forward of center in my stance. And ball position, again, we've got a little bit of a range, so I can be a little forward of center to, and again, I've got a, maybe about a two inch or five centimeter range there where the ball will move. Now it might move a little bit further forward with a longer iron but again it's essentially very very similar position. So when I'm setting myself up here my if I think about my body center of mass because I'm looking to keep my body position to the ball rather than just looking at my feet. My feet are a great way to check ball position because I can see my feet. I can't necessarily see how my body's positioned to the ball. But when I set myself up to play my shot, you can see if I look at my body center line, the ball's a little bit forward of it. With the driver, well forward of it. So with my iron shots, my ball position is a little bit forward of center and in that range there of a couple of inches, maybe five centimeters. When I go to my short iron, so now I'm pitching. So stance changes quite a bit and this is where um, I, my body positioning to the ball also changes. So whether I've got a 56 degree wedge here, it doesn't matter whether I'm playing a, a chip or a pitch, I'm going to set up roughly the same way. And it doesn't matter which club, I, which of the wedges I'm using either. So my feet are quite close together. So now I'm talking like a less than full swing. My body line is right where the ball is. So the ball's in the center of my feet and my body line's also on that center line. So my body positioning as well as my foot positioning is varying according to the different clubs. Now if I'm hitting a longer wedge it's going to move a little bit more toward what I would do as a standard iron shot. Practice those four different positions including the putter and you'll see how your body's positioning to the ball and how you're checking that with the foot positioning and the ball in relation to your feet and your body can really help just to make you much more consistent in the way you set up to the ball. That'll certainly help a lot of, con a lot of your shots and it's gonna take away a lot of the confusion about where to place the ball.